Wale. Oh yeah, the goddess of storms. Number 13. Reducing down to number four. So we know that oh yeah's energy is prevalent in this present time. Bringing on the storms to cleanse out all that is no longer needed or is useful to Mother Universe. Her energy is prevalent as we see with our own true eyes physically around the world. Number 10 reduces down to four fours to emperor in the tarot deck. Taking on accountability and then leadership. The emperor is Aries energy, fire, action, fierce, boldness. Here, yes, she is, and then we have New Day, the goddess of truth, number 34, reducing down to a seven. So, yes, the truth is being, being brought, the truth is being revealed because the truth is ought, the truth is. And there is no denying the truth. Okay? Seven is dealing with divinity, spirituality. Okay? Seven also in Tarot is the chariot. Okay? Cancer energy. Victory, success. Okay? Movement, traveling. Mm -hmm. 
So, some doors are being opened. Some paths are being cleared. Okay. Thank you, oh yeah, for your energy. Okay. These truths are bringing the storms. These truths are tearing things down. There are endings and there are new beginnings, i.e. the new moon in Taurus, I think is today, okay? New moon dealing with setting intentions, new moon dealing with new beginnings, Taurus dealing with security, wealth, values. Then we got surrender. Okay. A set. Mm. Surrender to a set. Number four. D4. Okay. At the four, four again. Reducing down to the number eight. Eight is dealing with the strength card in total. Okay. Eight, we're also in the eight here, okay. Also, eight is dealing with the second energy, okay. Common energy, okay. So, surrender whatever it is that you need to surrender, okay. To clear the paths, okay. Because it will be cleared either way. Okay. Either willingly or by force. And this force is necessary. Okay. It's already worked itself with the spiritual realm. Now it's here to clear things out in the physical realm whether you like it or not. Okay. So we get four, four, four. Here. Then we have Urzuli Dantor, the goddess of etheric cores. Coming here. To cut these cords spiritually and physically. Whatever ties needs to be untied, entanglements, okay, contracts. Adhesion contracts, unilateral contracts, spiritual contracts that held people hostage and bound, either knowingly or unknowingly. Urzuli Dantor is here. Okay. For war, to cut those cores, working on behalf of the mothers and the children, okay, there's been a war, first in the spiritual realm, against our family, okay, our family units, adhesion contracts made, demonic contracts made, that severed the bond, the bonds, and the unity of our family, of our fathers, of our mothers, of our children. Mm -mm, no more. Okay, she's number 27. Reduce it down to a nine. Nine is the hermit. Wisdom. 
the, the, the spiritual investigator, bringing light to all matters once they're done with their spiritual investigation. Okay. Going in, within, in solitude, spiritual sabbatical, to see the truth of all matters. Okay. We're going to synchronize in here. We got the seven, eight, nine. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. At the bottom of the deck here, we got Asasi, yeah. The goddess of joy. Okay. Number 16. Reducing down to a number 7. The cycles of the moon. This is representation of the crone mother. You see that baby suckling from the breast? Yes, that's her children. As we are. Tarot cards wants to support these oracle divine messages. Eight of Pentacles. There is work being done to clear out things. Okay? To bring stability. Okay? Foundationally, your foundation has to be solid first before you can build upon that foundation. So, coming back to the Oracle cards, oh yeah, it's the solar plexus, okay. which is confidence, willpower. The root chakra. Stability. Yeah, the root chakra. Stability. Okay. Then with those basic needs. And then truth, the throat chakra. Okay. Speaking your truth, standing in your truth, being in the truth. Your presence is the truth. Because you're divine. The heart chakra. Okay. Yeah. Coming from a space of a balanced heart chakra. Love. Okay. Sometimes you gotta go to war to restore peace. Okay. But you're in your whole mind. You're in your right mind. You're in your divine mind. Because you're coming from a space of love. Okay. To bring peace to all matters. Don't get it twisted. So that heart chakra has to be open. And cleansed. That's how you prevail. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. with spirit. He's working with spirit. With spirit and in flesh. Okay. 
has a bad stone in law. You know? So, yes. So, it be. I have the authority and the power given by the spiritual realm to say so, to use my hacker, my hacker, to say so. transformation. You're stepping into your leadership, authority. Balancing things out. Okay. Creating stability. Foundation. here with surrender. Okay. Justice is here. Okay. That's why these ethereal cords have to be cut. And that's why all we got here. Okay. To bring the war. The storms. To clear out. For balance. For order. Divine justice. This is inevitable. Fraud and justice does not agree to it. the top again. I would say these storms is bringing in a lot of communication. Some people may not understand communication, but that's a them problem. Okay? <laughs> the matters of the universe must go on. Now, if you don't understand right now what's being communicated, then <laughs> you got a problem. However, it's still going to be communication. It's swiftly with this eight of wands. Fire energy. Okay. Clearing out things. 
That's what we do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Seven cups. Okay. Like I say, you still in this delusion of grandeur. You still confused. You don't know which way to go. Hmm? So, how about you surrender? <laughs> surrender. To the Great Mother. And move out the way. See that eye arrive? On top there? Yeah. <laughs> this is a beautiful card I want to look at. Because mm -hmm. the Great Mother brings life. The Great Mother brings love. Okay. The Great Mother brings Stability. Mm -hmm. You are a badass being full of life. Love the possibilities. Yes. You know why? Because you surrendered. <laughs> to the divine. You're working for and with the divine. That's where you get your authority from. That's where you get your Okay, <laughs> delegations from okay. the Father soars is at the bottom here. Okay, all this conflict, arguments, uh, fighting, stress. Okay, this could be. Them, the adversaries, uh, having a defeat because they didn't play fair, okay? He got three swords in his hand, and then two was on the ground from these two people. So, where the other two swords come from? Okay, to me, that depicts unfairness, okay, to get a win. But guess what? When you do that, now you have to suffer the consequences. You have consequences from that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You see the skies, okay? The energy is still there of conflict and arguments and fighting, okay? And betrayals. Energy is still uncleared of that. So this is why things have to be cleared out. Ten of Wands. Okay. All these burdens been placed on the people. Okay. 
they burn in you with all of these adhesion contracts, these unilateral contracts, these unconscionable contracts. Okay. Placing burdens on your life, on your children, on your family, perpetually. To gain monetarily on your soil. Okay. The soil of your ancestors creating and building on your soil unethically, greedy. I saw the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Building well for themselves and their posterity. But under disguise, but under, but under fraud and theft. And fraudulent wins. Making you work hard every day. Under a delusion. Under something that don't even exist. But the truth is here. The truth is here. Stand on it. Speak it. Cut the cords. That's binding you. Redeem yourself spiritually and physically for you and your posterity. sit on her throne that our soul was taken. Okay. You suck from her bosom then you sucked her dry. You took from her womb everything. And left her wingless. She's back on her throne. More vibrant than ever. As if she never was removed. Bringing truth and clarity to all levels, on all levels, in spirit and in flesh, in all timelines, in all quantums, okay, dimensions, realms. Closing out these cycles, the Empress is here again, mm -hmm. so that we can spiral into a new cycle. Okay, this is the fixed cross right here, the world. Twenty-one, reducing down to what? Three, the Empress. That's why she's here again. The mother. Okay. 
I'ma speak on what elder, sister, Myra speaks about when she talks about the cross, but particularly this card with being Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Let's talk about the fixed cross. Okay. With Leo and Aquarius. And Leo and Aquarius and Taurus and Scorpio. Okay. The four uh, horse apocalypse is what she speak of. So with the Leo in Aquarian spectrum, we have an abuse of power and an abuse of leadership being reversed to that of hum a humanitarian. So these people are being removed from their pseudo leaderships and authority because they never had it. Okay. The fixed cross is here to reverse things. Okay. From the mundane to the spiritual. Then we have Taurus and Scorpio. A transformation of values. These people valued money. They created their own fiat of illusion. To control the masses to make them work for this worthless paper every day to so called pay when you can't pay for a damn thing with that same worthless paper Going out themselves, outside of themselves, being consumers instead of producers. So the world requires you to transform your values and be in line spiritually. Otherwise, you are out of balance and you're, and you're out of order. Death, scorpionic energy, Pluto energy. It's the death and transformation being taken place throughout the whole universe, throughout the whole galaxy. 13 reduces to four emperor energy again. You either gonna do the work and cut the etheric cords or you're not gonna be here. There's no room for you. Or you're going to be made to do so. With the towers. Okay. And all the destruction that's going on to build things back up. So during that process, not everybody will survive it. Two of Cups. Divine partnerships and unions must come in. On a romantic level, 
and on a business level. Just partnership, period, in all forms. Okay. We'll be dealing with community, bringing our communities back in order. Okay. Common law partnerships where we respect and love and honor one another and we understand that violating some another living being is of a crime and so therefore you owe for that injury to that injured party. So the great mother is here to bring death, destruction, for transformation. I share, I share, I share all. Oh.